Hey everybody, Gizmo Spaz here, and welcome back. Today we are doing a second um, video review of Creepy Kawaii plushes. Now, I really like these plushies, they're so cute. Uh, <clears throat> and to be honest, I, I couldn't even tell if they, that they were handmade. You know, they, they're of such high quality that <clears throat> if you don't have one, you need to get one. If you like plushies, go for it. Now, I believe I've already shown you the first two plushies from the series. If not, we're going to go over them again. Uh, well, we're going to go over them either way, so it doesn't really matter. But first, we have uh, Spoopy the Bat. I know I've shown you Spoopy. Spoopy is adorable. Let's zoom out a little here. Look at Spoopy. Spoopy is so cute. He's been uh, hanging around on the couch, so he's got some fuzz on him. There's Spoopy. How cute. Look at that, Spoopy. Cute little face. Each of the bats has unique faces. Uh, they're all a little different, and they each have different color combinations. Spoopy is obviously purple and black. And a uh, cute little plush body, very soft. The fabric is very soft and plush and... The wings are felt, I believe, but they feel really good. I, I just, uh, I, I'm gushing. I can't get over how good, how high quality these are. I can't talk either, so. <laughs> but there's Spoopy. Uh, next, and this is, I believe, the second one I've already shown you. Everything after this will be uh, brand new. This is Potato. Look at that, Potato. If you go at a certain angle, Potato could look angry. Uh, maybe I was just seeing that wrong. Potato is adorable. And look, I'll, I'll show you the comparison of the faces. They are very different. The body shapes are different. Potato is shaped like a potato. <laughs> very cute. Now, Potato is brown and pink with the pink ears and the pink wings. And uh, I like doing that. I just think that's adorable. We'll hang them all upside down and have them in sleep mode because they're Transformers. <laughs> so there's Potato and Spoopy. Next is uh, this one is adorable and once again uh, I was waiting for my last bat to come in before I did this so uh, some of these guys I'm cleaning them off right now they have some fuzzes on them and this is Chubbs he's Chubbs, he's got a little chubby cheek I guess his mouth is full but there's Chubbs and we'll show you the difference in the face, face again and he's got little pink threads down here to show uh, I don't know if that's supposed to show he's got pink cheeks from embarrassment because he's shoving his chubby little face. But uh, you see the, the eyes are similar, but uh, Chubbs is all black. And uh, other than the, you know, the white mouth and eyes and what appears to be pink down here. Let's see if I can focus. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that pink up with the light being so bright on it. But there's Chubbs. Chubbs is adorable. Chubbs is just a fat little. He's got a different shaped body than the other two. And he's just adorable. Each of them comes with the uh, Creepy Kawaii <clears throat> tag on the back and then uh, washing instructions. Uh, I'm not sure what small parts it may contain, but this is uh, advised for ages 3 and up. Although, uh, other than them possibly getting the wing or ears in their mouth and potentially choking, uh, yeah, that's probably what that is. Well, good job. I love Chubbs. Look at him. Chubbs is probably my favorite of all of them. Just because, uh, you know, I'm a chubby guy. And, uh, you know, sometimes my cheeks are a little puffy because I got food in my mouth. Ah! There's Chubbs. Let's see who's next. Uh, the next, next in line is Albina. Now, Albina, or Albino, Albina, I don't know. But you'll, you'll, you'll know why it's named that when I show you. But here is Albina. Albina is an albino bat. The baby albino bat. Now Albina has a very similar body shape to um, Spoopy. Although Albina's top half seems to be a little wider. Now because these are all handmade there might be some, very, some slight differences from one to the other. But Albina once again has the tag. Completely white, except for the red eyes and the pink mouth. Albina is adorable. These are all embroidered. This isn't glued on. They're embroidered. And little floppy ears and little floppy wings. 
This one's cool. It's albina. These are tough guys. There's no way I'm going to rip these apart. That's albina. I like albina. Albina's cute. I haven't come up with a voice for albina yet, so you get to stay there. You can't see my other two against my backdrop here. Uh, here is Amore. This is Amore, the Valentine's bat with the little red heart on the chest and I'm going to have a silly accent for this part because Amore is a romantic. Amore says, hi, how are you? Yes, Amore, in, uh, from my Amore, is a boy and uh, Amore just goes to prove that men can pull off pink. How are you? I am good. <laughs> now the ear in this one is fixed to the forehead. Uh, if for some reason you don't like that, you can simply snip the little threads that are holding it in place. But uh, I think this is the way she intended Amore to be with the ear over the, over the forehead there. And uh, I like it. It makes it unique among the other bats. Uh, the other ear is still floppy and cute. And Amore's got a cute squinty face, and uh, once again the little pink or red down here to show that uh, Amore is just uh, 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 transfixed on on his his. Uh, I think he likes potato. He likes potato. I like you too. Okay, I'm just being weird now. But this is Amore, and this is Amore. Now, Moray also has a wider body similar to uh, Chubbs here. Uh, I don't really think of a Moray as being a chubby bat, though. For some reason, Chubbs, Chubbs looks chubby and Chubbs, but for some reason, a Moray, this looks natural. If a Moray had a, a slender body, I think it would look weird. I really love the design on this. She, she put a lot of thought into these. I love the wings. I, all the wings. They're, all, they're, they're very similar or the same but with different colors. They have the same pattern, I think, basically. But they are all great. Um, now, this one, the wings, they have a slightly different pattern. If you look at them, match them up here, they've got a little... the, the detail in the pattern is a little differently. A little different. But I still like it either way. And uh, this is Amore. That's Amore. Okay, I don't want to get sued. <laughs> There's a moray. Now, the last one is not a baby bat, but it was the last one I received. No, actually, a moray was the last one I received. But next is Snowy the Owlet. Now, this isn't part of the bat line. That's what I'm calling this. I don't know if she has an official name for the baby bats, but that's not part of the bat line. This is Snowy the Owlet. This is the first in the, hopefully, a series. Uh, Snowy has more detail than most of them. The eyes have three different colors. You got uh, gold or yellow, black, and then white in the center. You got a little nose, and these three little uh, feather markings here, or color markings. The ears are adorable. Uh, the wings are affixed to the body. But they're snowy. I really like snowy. I kind of hope she does some other owls, too, because I, I really... Snowy's cool. Now, unlike the bats, Snowy, well, she was sitting earlier. Uh, Snowy sits on her own. She can sit straight up. I swear she was sitting earlier. <laughs> I must have squished her or something. Fortunately, with stuffed animals, they're pretty easy to, uh, you know, move that stuffing around inside there. Snowy's sitting on her own. I'm going to call Snowy a her. Doesn't matter, though. Call Snowy what you will. That's Snowy. And Snowy is adorable. And, uh, well, that's everything from Creepy Kawhi right now. I did get a bonus with Snowy. I got a, a, a scratch and sniff sticker of uh, cake, a cake or a something. Uh, I haven't scratched it yet because I didn't want to ruin it. I figured if I scratched it, it would not be cool. But, yeah, there's uh, that's everything creepy creepykawaii.com. Go ahead and pick her stuff up, and I just got a message on Facebook. So, at that, we're going to let you go. Happy hunting. Enjoy your plushies. Hug them. Love them. Hold them tight. But above all else, be nice, be kind. Happy hunting. Goodbye.